All right, my last video got about a million views in about 24 hours by performing a little CC library magic. But quite a few of you asked for a bit of a tutorial because if you start using CC libraries, I promise it will speed up your workflow and I'll make things like client edits an absolute doddle. Think of a CC library as like a style guide for your project. If you go to window, library in something like Adobe Illustrator and create a new library, you can store all sorts in here, including graphics like logos, fonts, colors, and if you're an Adobe stock user like me, your stock photos and illustrations. Libraries store linked assets, which means that when you make a change to one of these assets, those changes filter down to anywhere that asset has been used. So if I right click and select place linked from somewhere like Photoshop, it'll place an instance of that graphic. As long as I don't make a destructive edit to this asset, it'll stay linked. So when a client wants to make a change to something like a logo, I can just double click on the graphic and it opens up Illustrator and make my change. And when I save an Illustrator, that graphic gets updated in my libraries window. In Photoshop, you need to force the update by right clicking and pressing update or modified content in your layers panel. I use this all the time when I design logos for clients because when I take on logo feedback, I just have to amend one design and it filters the change not only across all my Photoshop mockups, but also into InDesign where I build my client presentations. And if you're designing layouts using stock photography and you want your client to sign off any imagery before you actually pay for it, you can use an unlicensed stock photo in your scamp. And when the client is approved and you need to replace the watermark version, you can license your image directly from the software and it swaps it out with a high-res file. Neat.